Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about an Ikea dresser drawer that is not closing all the way. I'll be going over how to fix it fast and easily in this very simple tutorial. Let's get right into the video. I'm gonna try and keep this video as short and sweet as possible. There are four things that you should be looking at if your Ikea dresser drawer is not able to close all the way. And I'm gonna be going over each of those four things rather quickly. So stay tuned, pay attention, and try these things out with your own drawer. And hopefully you can get to the bottom of this problem and solve it because remember, every problem has a solution. So number one is that there is an obstruction on the track. Now for Ikea dresser drawers, there are essentially two tracks that you need to worry about. The tracks on the side of the drawer and the tracks on the side of the actual dresser. I'm gonna take out one of the drawers just to show you what I'm talking about. If you take a look over here, on the side of the drawer, there are these tracks over here. And on the side of the cabinet, there are, let me give you a better view with some better lighting, there are these tracks over here, okay? On either side. So on the drawer, you have two, um, two basically tracks on either side. So one track on either side, two in total. And then on the cabinet or the dresser, you have two tracks, one on either side, two in total, okay? Take a look if there's an obstruction on the track. You can remove the drawer or you can just look inside, see if you can sort of see any obstruction. Okay, um, number two, there is an obstruction in another drawer. So let me go ahead and let me put this back in place. Let me explain what I mean. So essentially, although each drawer has its own section, they can sort of intertwine. Meaning, in this drawer right here, if I open this up, and I reach up, I'm touching the bottom of this drawer over here, okay? So I'm touching the bottom of this drawer if I reach up. So essentially, let's say that there's some tall stuff at the back of this drawer. And I open this drawer right here, and that tall stuff is now sticking up past the backing of this drawer. When I go to close this, the tall stuff from this drawer is going to be preventing this from closing because it's sitting behind the back of this drawer. So imagine the tall stuff is sitting like basically right here. When I go to close this, it's gonna hit that tall stuff. So there might be an obstruction in another drawer, okay? Number three, and if there is an obstruction, you know, obviously look at the drawer below it, and that's your primary concern because it's gonna be sticking up, right? So look at the drawer below it and see if anything is sticking up. That's most likely the cause from what I've seen every time that any of my drawers haven't been able to close. Um, it's just I look at the drawer below it and something's just sticking up. And sometimes my kids put too many things in their drawers and then it's just sticking up and it won't close. And then they call me, Daddy, can you come see what's going on in my drawer? And I look, oh yeah, you put too many things in that drawer and problem solved. So take a look at that. That's like a very, very likely cause. Number three, the cabinet is on an angle. So essentially when your cabinet or your dresser is on an angle, um, the tracks aren't gonna be straight and therefore it might prevent it from closing or yeah, you, know, you, you might not be able to um, get it all the way to the back. So you might be able to close it but it might not be able to get all the way to the back because maybe you know, that angle is just affecting the back of it, right? So essentially look at your cabinet. Your cabinet or your dresser should be nice and straight, nice and plumb um, and if it isn't then make sure you tighten all the hardware, you straighten it out and brace it appropriately in order to actually hopefully be able to close that drawer. And lastly, but not leastly, number four is there is a bend in the track. So essentially, like I said, because you can't close it, I'm assuming that you can open it. Take the stuff out of the drawer. That goes without being said, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Remove the drawer, take a look at the tracks, see if there's a bend in the track. Now, there are some bends that are supposed to be there. You can see right here, these are bends that are supposed to be there. Don't go and think that these are out of place. I mean, they look perfect. So remember, look at the other drawers and sort of compare them and see, like look at a drawer that closes properly, look at its tracks. And then look at the drawer that doesn't close properly, look at the, those tracks and see if there's any bends in it. On the drawer tracks, like I said, and on the actual dresser tracks as well. And see what you can find because that is another likely cause, but a bend in the track would have been caused by something bending it. So if you maybe were moving, like you went and moved homes, and you move the dresser or you move the dresser to another room, that can cause a bend in the track depending on how you do it. Um, I moved this to the garage. It's my eldest daughter's uh, old dresser. We got her a different Ikea dresser now, a bigger one. And essentially I moved this to the garage. I'm gonna use this for garage storage because it fits perfectly in one of the sort of nooks and crannies of the garage over here, one of the open spaces. And when I moved it, I took out all the drawers to prevent anything from bending. So just a quick tip, if you're moving it, take out all the drawers. It's lighter, number one, but number two, it will prevent things from bending um, out of place, like the tracks. And that's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. 
Thanks for watching.